Hi there, I'm Tara and welcome to Smart Tech Tips. On today's episode, we're going to do a comparison of Smart Deploy and MDT. In this video, we'll cover the key features and benefits of each solution to help you determine which one is the best fit for your organization. You ready to find out more? Let's get into it. admins to recommend a computer imaging tool for Windows devices, and many immediately suggest Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, MDT. After all, it's free and highly configurable, so you can use it to pre-build custom workflows from scratch. Plus, MDT is a Microsoft creation, and Microsoft build Windows, so that's a win-win, right? Well, it depends. Do you have the time and desire to make it work? Hint, it could take weeks or longer, a lot of Googling and dangerous levels of caffeine. Are you prepared to handle complex imaging processes and technical issues without any official support? Do you support only on-prem devices? We'll walk you through the pros and cons to help you assess if MDT is truly the right solution for your business. Microsoft Deployment Toolkit is a set of tools sysadmins use to create Windows Operating System Images. P.S. That's MDT. I'm going to call it that for the rest of the video. You can then deploy those images along with drivers and enterprise applications to desktops, laptops, and servers. MDT officially supports the deployment of Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows Server. Wait, stop. If you're using Windows 7 or even worse, Windows 8, stop watching this video and go upgrade right now. You're killing me. Come on, man. One of the key features of MDT is a task sequence that tells MDT how to create and deploy an image. Think of uh, like IKEA's kitchen installation service, a package that comes with specific instructions and someone to put everything together for you. Using task sequences allows you to automate the deployment process and is a core feature of the program. MDT comes with task sequence templates for common actions such as running sysprep and executing post-deployment tasks. You can also create your own. In MDT, rules are customizable settings that allow you to control how user devices are set up and configured. For instance, you can create different rules around network and security settings for different devices and user groups in your environment. Think a uh, group policies cousin. The deployment workbench in MDT is its central dashboard from which you can manage your deployment process. It's not particularly pretty, but if you're handy, you can get the job done. All images, files, and scripts you need for deployment are stored in a folder called a deployment share. You can use MDT to deploy Windows images using offline media or a local network connection. More specifically, MDT supports three different deployment methods light touch installation, zero touch installation, and user driven installation. Zero touch and user driven deployments require integration with Microsoft Configuration Manager. We're not even going to go there. It's way too much to talk about. If you want more information about SCCM, we do have another video on our channel. Just go watch it. If you like the sweat and satisfaction of building deployment processes from scratch and have the necessary skills and knowledge, MDT could be a good set of tools for you. Via the deployment workbench, you can create any task sequence or rule to customize deployment and post-deployment tasks. Some choose MDT for its ability to integrate with other Microsoft tools in their IT ecosystem, like 
Microsoft Configuration Manager, previously known as System Center Configuration Manager or SCCM and Windows Deployment Services or WDS. Using these solutions in tandem is common for larger and more comprehensive deployments. On the flip side, there are certain challenges when using Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. For instance, it's not the easiest tool to set up and use. There's no official technical support and supporting diverse hardware can be a complicated affair. Before deciding if MDT is the right choice for your business, it's important to know what you're getting into. To save you some legwork, we've laid out the key considerations. Even with official documentation and a ton of community advice, setting up and using MDT can be overwhelming for the uninitiated. It's highly customizable. It requires a lot of manual intervention. And you'll need to know exactly how, where, and what you want to configure. Depending on your skill level, you might be in for a long, bumpy road. You will be in for a long, bumpy road. Microsoft does not provide official technical support for MDT. You can seek help on the MDT forum. You can submit it to the Microsoft 10 Feedback Hub if it's a bug, or you can get funneled through Microsoft General Support Line. You can check out the community forums like Reddit, or if you're super brave, uh, good luck troubleshooting on your own. Unless you're only deploying thin images across identical devices, using MDT can make your computer imaging process complex and time consuming. If you're supporting diverse hardware or user groups, there's no simple way to build, test, and update your Windows OS images or manage multiple device drivers or streamline device deployment. Deploying to remote devices that are not connected to a local network? No. You'll need to pair MDT with Windows Autopilot and throw in some clever PowerShell scripting to pull it off because MDT has no out-of-box features that support remote deployments over the cloud without a local network infrastructure. That's important. MDT may be free, but using it could cost you in other ways, like the time and resources you may need to master the whole set of tools and configure them to know what you want. Depending on your deployment approach and your workloads, using MDT with other Microsoft tools may also incur adjacent costs for licensing, hardware, server, and network infrastructure. Unlike MDT, using an imaging tool alternative like Smart Deploy is likely to cost you less and save you more over time. Smart Deploy's flexible file-based imaging software can save hours of work and increase efficiency, keeping business critical and revenue generating operations running smoothly. Here are some key features that our customers love. Easy setup and use. Simple enough for entry-level technicians to use. Smart Deploy can be set up in an afternoon and can deploy Windows OS images in minutes. Single image management. Instead of different images and files for different groups, you can create one custom golden image that can be deployed to any Windows device, make, or model. Flexible, fuss-free app and driver installation. You can slipstream custom apps and devices with your Windows OS image or simply deploy them separately on their own. No finicky configurations required. Easy driver management. Admins also get access to a library of more than 1,500 pre-built driver packs that support major OEM business class models and are maintained by in-house driver experts. Task automation. Pre-built and customizable script packages let you easily automate deployment tasks like sysprep and post-deployment tasks such as domain joins, computer naming, and printer installations. Computer Management Dashboard. The dashboard gives you a useful overview of the hardware and software information across your fleet, so you can quickly identify what you need to update, patch, or uninstall. Remote Imaging. With support for multiple cloud providers, Smart Deploy makes it easy 
to image remote workers' devices securely from anywhere in the world with minimal disruption to your workday. Okay, that is all for today. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Tara from Smart Deploy, and I'll see you in the next one.